Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is day 45 of the free to play, the road to Ultra Nightmare as we are playing Ray Shadow Legends today. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, yeah, cool day today. Yesterday, so when I'm recording this, yesterday, we had a big info dump. We had one of those uh, what's next in raid videos come out and kind of exciting, right? We had a lot of new stuff is coming in. I think generally the response has been pretty positive to it. Um, you know, there's some just new stuff added to the game. There are some, you know, I think there's some healthy skepticism about some of this stuff too. Uh, and I figured what we can do today as I go kind of through my daily stuff, and I think I have a couple ancient shards, at least one, at least one, at least one to open. Uh, we're still in this two X, right? Um, I'm going to kind of go through my stuff, but uh, we'll do a little clan boss run and kind of talk about some of those changes because I feel like they're going to be pretty impactful. I feel like it's going to be pretty impactful. I also feel like it's a little bit of a... I mean, I, I try not to get too... I try not to make any changes that happen to this game sound too important. Because this, if one thing Raid has shown us over and over again, they can do absolutely whatever they want and the game's going to be just fine. For some reason, this game is immune to any negativity that comes upon it. And a lot comes upon it. So, you know, it's hard to get too... Um, too exasperated over anything that comes through. I, I mean, ever since I've been a content creator for this game, I kind of realized that, look, they're going to do what they want to do. And we can provide help. And, you know, I know I've gotten like some some little bugs fixed myself just by sharing that with them. I know they've made some changes and have listened to us in the past when things are a little bit out of whack. Um, but my guess and overwhelmingly what tends to happen is when these changes come in live, they have a plan, they have an idea of how it's supposed to work, and they're going to stick to that at least for, you know, three to six months before any changes kind of happen. And my guess is with these changes, they're already locked in, right? These things are already locked in. Unless we break something, they're going to be like, okay, this is how this works. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. But I feel like there are some changes that Clarion's going to need to make you or the players, uh, because they've been adding a lot of stuff, they've been doing a lot of stuff, but they need to make some changes. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go through, I wanted to show you guys really quickly before we get into any of that stuff. Ag Team Tournament. I did not get to the top reward. I'm a little disappointed in myself, to be honest with you. Uh, I really should have, but I got tired and I slept, so I didn't grind it quite as hard as I could. But that's part of the, fr the real thing. I still got finished in third, though. I mean, I still did, I think, really good in these tournaments. And it's surprising to me, I think one of the biggest things I was not expecting in this game is how easy it is to finish high up in these tournaments if you're grinding. And I think that's a big difference, right? You're kind of with newer players. Some play this game very casually, some play it seriously, but most go the casual route. So it's pretty easy to actually finish pretty high in these tournaments. And I think that's a, that's a, I mean, that's nice. It's really great, right? When you're able to do that, I think that's a good thing. Um, so just more more rewards for us basically is how that boils down in my opinion um, Oh, we do have a void keep, you know, I have a void keep mission. I bet we can do stage 20 now, too Let's just let's let's just rock this and see if we can do that. I'm just gonna let this run really quickly um, I forgot I got a bunch of missions that I've been kind of trying to get through um, Because at the end of this stage of the missions, I think we're in the second or third tier um, I get two Lego books and that's gonna be perfect because that'll let me fully book Elva, which I think is absolutely crucial um, For the future of my team They're like it's really really important um, because once I get her booked I can actually start speed tuning, right? I mean Technically, I'll have the speeds to do that. So that's something I need to do uh, I need to do very badly. So that's definitely gonna be on my list of to do things right now um, Also, I should I should mention got my coffee uh, we, I brought back the leaves today. I figured we'd come back to the old, the old green leaves here. Mm. It's a pretty nice little mix. I had a little too much nutmeg in it before, um, and so I, you know, got rid of some of the. I, I, you know, lessened the nutmeg, added more coffee powder, added more cinnamon. I still use my oat milk. I do like oat milk. I don't know why, but it's, it's kind of what I, I dig. Obviously. The creamier, the better, right? And the more sugar in it, the tastier it's going to be. But, you know, I generally try to stay here clear of the sugar. I think this might need a little bit, though. It's a little bit, um, 
it's not coffee bitter just it's like it's like cocoa powder bitter is basically what it's like um so i could probably use a little bit of sugar and i think that would actually pull out some of the cinnamon flavor maybe drop a clove in there might not be a bad idea um uh, as well i had that allspice from before it's not really it wasn't really something i necessarily wanted to do um but it was a possibility um my mom also suggested adding a little mint to it which i thought was kind of an interesting idea um so we'll see i don't know i'm pretty happy with it though right now right now right now it's good and i've actually had a lot of people ask me about uh buying uh some of the coffee cups and some merchant stuff so uh, that is something i'll be trying to get started this week um i guess it's almost the weekend now uh but next week some point soon soon i plan to get that going so something to kind of I, I plan on working on that getting that going for you guys um oh yeah we're gonna void 20. what done it's exciting i didn't think i'd be able to get this i'm real happy that we are all right so look we're making some serious serious progress here this is excellent all right i didn't get the thing for the for the reward for the missions but that's okay we'll go through that later on you can see i just have to get one superior potion um and then we can do a bunch of these burn spiders so i'll be able to get this next one done too which is great five million damage to demon lord that should be easy enough uh and then we got uh more amulets from spider den get another ancient shard so i'll crack that open today and then we got the metals and that'll take me forever again uh those are always my slow spot because we just don't get as many arena fights but yeah as you can see sorry i forgot what i want to get to it's right here you get those two legendary skill tomes so Hopefully within a week, maybe two, we'll be able to do that. And that'll be that'll be pretty massive for our account. Um, so we got that. We got some clan boss stuff. We're climbing in the Doom Tower. Uh, I think we had the Griffin uh, yesterday. And, oh, yes, another Ancient Shard. Huge. That's huge. All right. Uh, we're climbing the Griffin uh, or whatever the next stage. I think it's a Griffin. And got some good success on that. All right, cool. Um, so let's drop a Nightmare Run real fast. And yes, I know I used Valerie yesterday, but that's not, that's not going to be my best team right now. Still need to build her up. Still, you know, that's more when we get to the speed tuning stage. We're not there yet. Um, so I can this is, team's just going to do more damage for me. So I'm going to run it now. Anyway, we're talking about those changes, right? Uh, the new changes to the game, and I really like them. Uh, first off, I like our dungeon mode. I don't love Mythic Gear. I'm going to be honest with you. It adds just another level for that top tier of, you know, whale player. Now, I will say this about it. I don't have to be the best at anything to feel good and still enjoy playing the game. I think that's an important, important thing to figure out. I would like to be the best. Who doesn't? But I, I'm rec I've recognized a while ago that for me to compete with the real top level players in this game in competitive areas like arena and stuff, I'm just not going to be able to do their gear so far outstrips what I have. It's not it's not a comp. It's, it's not a competition is basically what my point is. And the addition of mythic gear is going to stretch that even further. The reason why is because not only will you want the same, you know, the same RNG, making sure you get the percentages on the on the main stats, the right sub stats and then the right roles, those roles then become complicated even further because of the mythic. You're going to want you know they're gonna find the fastest champions in the arena i think you know for a long time nobody was over 400 and now it's like 450 or something right when you talk about uh when you talk about the blessings with the aura boost when you talk about the ascension of the gear when you talk about the um what do you call it the you know when you can feed champions into each other make them plus fours and stuff not to mention the faction guardians all that stuff it's only it's only climbing higher right um, and so I know I'm never going to be at that kind of a level. doesn't mean I can't necessarily compete. I can have the right champions, the right, you know, I only need so many gear pieces to make the right champions really shine or the right strategy. It's, you know, certainly possible, possible, it's conceivable that I can compete with them. But that part of the game's never really interested me that much, right? I like doing arena. I like doing competitive things. But it's never one of those things that makes or breaks me. That's never been my style. That's not my channel. It's not what I'm about, right? Um, I like this game because it is mostly PvE. Um, but that's really what these new dungeons are going to do. They're gonna, it's going to stretch that difference between 
um, endgame players and everybody else, right? The whales and everybody else. It is going to stretch that gap. But let's be real, that gap's pretty big already. I don't know that it's going to make that that big of a difference when it really comes down to it. So I'm not too concerned about that, uh, quite frankly. It does, just doesn't concern me that much. What I do like, though, is it's a new challenge, right? For these dungeons that have been very stale for three whatever years or something, even adding the extra extra levels was didn't really change the challenge that drastically. And now we have basically four new dungeons, right? They're almost completely new because the mechanics are so different. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, it'll be interesting to see the approaches that are used. And I'm sure there's gonna be some of them that are like, gonna seem impossible right from the jump and become more accessible later on. But again, we wanna remember these are super end game dungeons, right? These are not gonna be for the average player. Now, where I do think there's some very valid criticism and something that I would really like Plarium to make sure to take time and look at is the energy consumption. Already expanding the dungeons to stage 20, the energy consumption is insanely high and the refill, the refill rate is extremely low. And I think that that definitely I think that definitely needs to be looked at. Um, you know, one of the things I would propose if I were them is not necessarily raising the energy cap, though. I mean, if it was my game, I would do that, too. But not necessarily raising the cap of energy, but increase the rate at which it refills. Let's reward the players that stay in the game longer, right? We don't have to make it so that they can, you know, store more energy, right? We don't have to raise the cap to 200, but let's increase the speed at which they get energy back, right? Let's increase that so that the players that you do reward players for playing the game more, which is, I think, really what they want anyway, right? That's why they have all this stuff, is they want you in the game as much as possible. So let's reward that. Let's refill that energy rate as quick as we can. I think, to me, that makes a lot of sense. It would help everybody out uh, along the way. The whales are still going to spend because they don't want to wait for energy to refill. Who does that? I'm just going to buy it, right? That's what I've always done uh, on my main account, right? When I needed to when I needed to farm something when there's a fusion, I'll buy a bunch of energies, buy a bunch of gems, and I just I'll do my runs and I'll be out for the day. I don't have to stick around and hang out. But for you know, free to play, that's that's the name of the game is checking in often, right? And by increasing the energy rate, you ask players to check in more often, not less. But you still enable them to do more, which I think is good, right? So um for me, that seems like that's a big I think that would be a huge step. I mean, one of the things with all the all the stuff we have, whether there's Doom Tower or Hydra, there's always end game stuff. There's always something. There's always a next step to go to, right? So, I think a long time ago when we only had Clan Boss, when we only had Stage 15 dungeons, it wasn't as or Stage 20 dungeons. It became very easy to hit a point where it's like I've done everything. The only thing left for me to do is arena right and get into the high level arena and even that was kind of you know mixed bag but now hydra's a really high level part of this game and yes people have beaten it no doubt but if you're a free-to-play player or a low spender it's still pretty hard content to do a doom tower is pretty hard content to do for a lot of people right especially the hard levels and then you have all the secret rooms there's always something else to do and because of that, and now we have these hard dungeons as well. We're going to have live arena. Like, because of that, there's never that feeling of like, well, I don't have anything left to do in this game. I've beaten everything. Um, and so giving people the energy to do more, I think, makes a lot more sense and gets them invested and want to play the game more. So that would be, I think, the number one fix is kind of one of, one of the best fixes that's needed. I mean, the other thing that we need, though, is some, some basically offline farming ability, right? Whether that's with champions uh or that's you know with dungeons but basically auto complete back is what we need um because already we you know we've been complaining for years literally years that this game takes too much of our time and we want to play but there's a limit to how much time a person can really spend in a game and we've hit that i feel like and you know i know i'm not alone in that feeling um and so if they can find ways for us to like just auto complete stuff it makes so much more sense right um because then i don't have to sit here and watch you know i have 40 auto battles free to play player i have 40 auto battles every day why do i have to have my phone open why do i have to sit here and watch those 40 auto battles play out why instead can't i just click 
complete once I've done it. Let's let's say just let's start just with campaign. Let me just farm that way, right? Click complete and I've done 40 auto battles. I get my silver, I get my resources, and my champions level up. Am I really am, am, am I really missing anything out of this game? There's still so much other stuff to do, right? You know, I shouldn't have to sit in a dragon run for however long, you know, and I know the time spent is a big part of what they want to do, but you know, having some of that as autocomplete, I think it is really important um, and would be really nice to do. At the very least, let's do that for campaign. Um, let's do that maybe for Minotaur, some one of the more, you know, uh, psychologically draining areas of this game, I think would be really nice. Um, you know, I know they gave us they give us these things like these auto battles, right? Where, you know, you can just auto it and let it run. But honestly, it's not that's it's not that's not enough right it's just not quite enough you know to be able to do super raids where you do them you know two at a time or something it's like let me just choose how many keys every run does for faction wars for doom tower why should i have to do 10 of these runs you know or do five runs you know five double runs why can't i just do one run and have it count for 10. you know what i mean like i feel like that kind of thinking that kind of approach would be really really good and is something that's a little bit overlooked um you know just thinking trying to think of simple ways to make this game a little bit better here but i think those would be two two massive things that we need some way to speed up the actual time spent in game farming and doing dumb things and some way to you know get us more energy so we can do a little bit more you know there's too many things with iron twins with the uh sand double there's too many things that require energy as a resource um and we just don't get enough of it you know cap hasn't been raised for a long time we got two new dungeons we got five extra floors on all the existing dungeons and now we're adding another 10. we need more energy um that's gonna be the big thing so anyway rant over but 28 million not too shabby uh especially with elva going down pretty early in there team's coming along team's coming along we're getting there I don't think we're we're not one key yet, but we're getting there for sure. Uh, continuing to grow and climb. I love it. All right. Now, let's see. We got a couple shards here. We'll end it with this. Got two, two bad boy ancients. Let's see what we can do here. All right. I don't have any room. Of course. Of course, I don't have any room. Two ancient shards. A chip, a chair, and a dream, as they say in poker. Let's go. Let's go. Dan Last Survivor? Anyone? Oh, epic. I mean, I'll say this. My Sylvan watchers are looking real good. Real good. I mean, Cormac, probably the worst of them. Decrease speed on the A1. That's fine. That's fine. Decrease defense on the A2. Cool, 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 cool. Increase actually crit rate. Extra turn. Sure. That's great. Um, Here's the thing. All single target. The attack base. It's just not good. It's just not that good. It brings some useful stuff for like dungeon things, but all single target. A little disappointing. A little disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit disappointing. All right, that's fine. It's one. It's one shard. We still got an epic, right? Fort star chicken at the very worst. Yeah, okay, skull sworn. So sweet, 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 sweet. Cool, 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 cool. Let's. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's great. That's great. Super happy. Super happy. Hey, champion chase. Well, getting the epic was not bad for that, at least. That, that's something, right? We are pretty close to getting an epic book there. I mean... How much is an epic book worth? That's really the question. Probably not enough to pull stuff that I already have, but... You know. Alright, uh, let's YOLO. We can, we can like semi yolo right? I said I was going to hold my void shards. Okay, it's just one. Just one. God, I still don't have room. You know what? That's the gods. That's the gods telling me not to pull any more shards. We're going to stop there. We're going to stop there. And maybe later on today, I'll get inspired to pull it. We'll have to see. Anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, this is fun. Uh, I figured, you know. Kind of having that little chat about the new changes is good. I would love to hear from you guys, though. I know I put out a video 
kind of later than most of the other CCs talking about it um, and kind of analyzing a little bit my thoughts on the new changes. But I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think? Are they good? Are they bad? What are the parts you're excited about? What are the parts you're a little nervous about? Uh, we didn't even touch on Live Arena. And, you know, from what I hear, it's basically a, a carbon copy of what they do in Summoner's War. Um, I haven't played the game myself, so I don't know personally, but that's what I've heard. And that's good and bad, right? It means that we know it works to some degree. We also means that they probably got a little less creative than they could have. Um, and that's, you know, a little disappointing. Always like to see something a little new, but uh, I'm kind of excited by it. I think it's kind of a cool, cool concept. So we'll see how that all plays out. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you being here. Until next we meet on the Deadwood Jedi.